So lately there haven't been a whole lot of classes that can keep up with the big moabs in the later rounds of the game. I'll tell you what was able to keep up though, the sniper class right up here. But we already did that, so I want to see if the semi-automatic tree will be able to keep up. Also, if you haven't seen that sniper video, then be sure to check out the playlist. So I think the issue is that a lot of them don't really do all that damage to an individual balloon. Like they just pop one layer at a time and they make up for it by firing a lot of times. But the sniper was good about taking out a lot of them at once. So I don't know if the semi-automatic is going to be able to do that. But we'll see. So to do that, we just got to get through all of these first couple of rounds until we get enough money to buy the sniper. Oh, and you can even see through the scope. That's new. I like that. Is it accurate through the scope? Yes, it is. And then he just brings it up and boop and boop. See, there it goes popping multiples at a time. The blue ones don't even matter. And as before, this, the scope really doesn't add much. It just lets you know that it's a sniper because it's accurate by itself. It's not like other games where the sniper like removes the crosshair that you see on the screen and i guess the sniper is only hitting one balloon at a time but the difference is it takes out multiple layers of the balloon which i think is better in the long run the slow rate of fire is pretty killer though like think of how many green ones could close in on you in the time it takes to fire a second shot like this guy i kind of want to just run around until they all fall in a straight line and then just pop them single file so i don't even have to move the scope and it's working pretty well Oh, this one. Okay, he wasn't as close. The scope kind of makes a bit weird to see how close the balloons are. At least it's a night vision scope, which is perfect because the game is just permanently nighttime now that the update is here. But thankfully now we have enough money to buy fast firing. So now we should be able to keep up with the balloons much better. Oh yeah, I like this. There's a lot of green balloons over here. Hello. Just gonna casually pop all of these down to red. It's a little different trying to use a sniper in a 360 environment like this instead of like... All the balloons coming down the lane like the other map. So now we can get full metal jacket and we pop through multiple blue balloons, which I guess is this entire round. Thought there'd be some green ones. Guess not. But it just makes it easier when they all group up like this. And I am $7 short from even faster firing. Why do you gotta do me like this? And boop. There we go. With $1 to spare. And I like this fire rate much more. And the yellow balloon should... Yes, they instantly get destroyed. Ooh, two at a time. Now this is what I'm talking about. Even with the yellow balloons rushing across the map, they're not really an issue anymore. Boop. And taking out multiples of these and those and that and this all works out very nicely. And they just kind of snuck up on me like that. was not expecting that. They don't really make a sound when they hit you anymore, which is a little upsetting. I could just be getting my insides chewed up by balloons and I wouldn't even know. And I guess the scope does make it easier to reach the balloons that are way across the island. Even though it makes it really hard to tell what color is what in the scope. Oh, now we're starting to get some heart-shaped balloons. Not much of an issue since they just get deleted. And now we have enough to plant a tree. Very good. And then after this round, we might have enough to give it another upgrade. With the combined might of all the money from popping these balloons, along with the money harvested from the tree. And look at that. Increased production. Oh, now we have black balloons already which pops into two blue ones, so that's pretty good. They're just a little hard to see since it's so dark in the game now. And we can get even greater production now. And I think it's time I bought attack shooter because it gets very dicey without them. Oh, now we have white balloons, which also turn into blue. That ba dee dad do. And I should probably spend my time circling this thing so that the attack shooter gets more chances to actually shoot. And maybe having them in the center of the island will be better. So he's not interfering with the bananas. And now we have black and white balloons along with some pink ones because of course, all oh, right, the attack shooter is only popping one layer at a time. That's what does it. Why can't everything be as strong as me? Well, even so, that worked out pretty well. Oh, we're starting to get some camel balloons already. I can see that. They always show up sooner than I thought they would. But the good news is now we have enough to buy large caliber, which should solve every balloon problem I'm going to have for at least the next couple of rounds. Because even these like small ones, like the purple ones, just get popped instantly. Bam. Now, the attack shooter just creates a problem of bringing the pink one or the purple ones down to pink level so they're super fast but it's manageable and now i'm gonna buy camo detection so the attack shooter can worry about all that i shot the merchant in the face but we don't talk about it oh and there's a zebra balloon hello you're gone and bam it's a little weird walking by the turret because i could just walk right through the actual like opening so it's like am i walking by the attack shooter or the balloon but we're good. And that takes 4,200 to get that upgrade. My goodness. I also don't really know how many I'm popping through anymore. I mean, there's a lot of them game popped, but is it still two or how many is it? Let's see. Let's just get over here where it's nice and bright and look at the shadows. Yeah, it's like three. Yeah, about three. And because I have room to move, I'll come over here 
while it's paused and by the monkey ace just to make my job a little easier and the popping sounds that much louder some steel balloons are coming in which all turn to green balloons kind of interesting how these steel balloons are considered stronger than the zebra balloons not really sure how it maths out but it all works overall in the end and i think my tax shooter could get some more upgrades so i don't have to worry about that anymore we are 32 rounds in and still only part way to getting the fully automatic upgrade Probably because I'm spending it on my support units. But we should be able to get there pretty soon if it keeps ramping up like this. And popping all the big ones before my units have a chance to make them fast. Oh, here are some more camo balloons. See, it's a good thing I got the upgrade for my guys. Because I probably wouldn't be doing anything if I didn't. And now we have enough to get semi-automatic. Not full auto yet. And that is a much faster fire rate. With still the same effect. I like it. This just made my job so much easier. Ooh, here are the rainbow balloons that get popped down to a whole lot of red. Wow, it's a good thing I got that regrow blocker. Or actually, no, I didn't yet. Oh dear, that's gonna be a problem. So let's just get the regrow blocker before I forget again. And there are sure a lot of pink balloons this way. Like, look at all that. And some camo green hard balloons, which aren't an issue. But now I can give a well-needed upgrade to my plane friend for even more incessant popping. Get rid of these zebra balloons before he lets loose all of those. And that one right there. Whoop, pass through the steel ones. I need, really need to watch where I'm going. And after a little bit, I need to carve my way back to the attack shooter, popping everything. Thankfully, now we have enough to get a banana plantation and we just pop all of the rainbows and the zebras as fast as we can and get all of these beautiful bananas. And then I think this is the first Moab. So semi-auto does, oh dear. That's already spelling trouble for us later on. I'm gonna need some more friends for that. Thankfully, there's still a tank we haven't gotten yet, as well as another upgrade for the tax shooter. So these guys should be able to help me out quite a bit. And I should be able to get the fully automatic upgrade after this round. And I think, yes indeed. Oh boy, full auto rifle. At, ooh, so how fast is full auto? Oh yeah. I should be able to do fairly good with this. And the scope change color too. Should be able to see the green balloons a lot better. And all my guys are being pretty good about getting rid of all the extras. Getting some reinforced ceramics now, which become zebras. That's good for me because I can pop zebras right away. And the zebras also aren't as fast as pink, so it's a lot more manageable. And to get the last upgrade takes 28 thousand money not gonna be gaining all that for a while so let's just upgrade the hero some give him a machine gun as well and lots more darts from the plane so we have a plane in the sky we have me with the gun looking like this we have a tank here we almost seen some fortunate sun plane in the background oh we have some hard purple ones now interesting not really they all just get popped right away and lose their regrow ability which thankfully my guys can keep up with now and we'll give the shooter tax sprayer and some overdrive because i could buy it so now he should be able to hold his own a lot better but now we just have a big line of balloons stacking up behind me so as soon as i run by the tax shooter bring behind me as i go Oh yeah, he's gonna have a field day. Round 50 is here, and I'm feeling pretty good about things right now. Even when the Moabs come in, because the full, the full auto handles that one pretty nicely. I am gonna need a few more upgrades for my guys to handle the later ones, I feel, though. So the next thing I wanna do is get my machine gun tank friend leveled up until he can just bomb the Moabs from space. So he gets armor-piercing shells, and being careful for my plane friend to just unleash the horde, right off the get-go. Thankfully, my tax year seems to be able to keep up, and this is all going pretty much according to plan. I like it. So just a few more pops like this, and we can get the super bananas really quick before the end of the round, which means they'll be ready for us by the time we clear all these out. And also charging straight at these mobs is kind of a strange decision, but we can handle ourselves pretty well. I'm watching the sound levels on OBS, and they are like straight up turning the bar completely red. It's peaking so bad. So I'm sure my editor is going to have a great time with that. So once we get the Moab barrage for this guy, we should be ready for round 60 with the big red one. There it is. So how do we do without the barrage? Okay. Uh, it's a little worrisome, but that's why we got the upgrade. Just a steady line of zebra balloons ready to be popped because they pop very easily. And I'm also charging through the middle of the crowd, which isn't a great idea, but I'm doing it anyway. Ooh, sneak around this way and around this way. And also crossing by my trusty tax shooter, which is able to do a lot of damage. And now we have it. The last upgrade, Elite Defender. So, ooh, <laughs> my gun kind of filled out in the middle. What is this like? Oh my, that fire rate. That is, that's pretty much a laser of bullets. Look at that, it's not even like shuddering at all. Well, it kind of is, but 
Just look at all of this. Oh boy, this is this is gonna be very nice indeed. It's just a hose of bullets. And bring it up and bring it down and bring the scope up again and bring it down again. I think I'm going to like this very much. And we can also give large caliber ammo to the tank. So how does the new gun work against these mobs? Oh, they just melt them. I like it. Just also have to be careful about where these things are since I can't seem to keep track of them all. And if I just keep pointing at the pipe, then the balloons for the most part can't make it out until my machine gunner shows up. Just gotta be careful about being close to the pipes when that happens. Oh dear. Thankfully I can outrun the red ones and pop them into the smaller blue ones. It still takes a little bit to get through the red ones, but it's it's manageable. And the good news is now we can get the last upgrade for the Spectre for even more balloon destroying goodness. Round 70 is here and that means something. I mean, it means more balloons get destroyed, but I thought there'd be something new showing up. And I guess there was nothing new that wave, but that's okay because my tank is now a battle tank, which is working surprisingly well. Not really surprising, but appreciated. And all these red ones are definitely deserving of a barrage. There we go. And now our tack shooter can get the last upgrade for him. So now we should be fully equipped to make it to round 100. And if we don't, then I'm just going to be very confused about how he got so lucky all the other times. And I still can't get over how the gun just looks like a tube. It's like someone just slapped a ton of PVC together. I'm like, yes, I can use this. Two red Moabs per pipe now is a little bit intense. It's not too bad though, as long as I can just get control over one of these pipes until I have to worry about what's going on over here because I don't really trust my tank friend to take care of everything. Oh dear. Oh dear. Yeah, I gotta jump over all this. Woo. Bad. Bad. That was bad. That was very bad. We're okay though, we're fine. We're down to 52 lives, but we're good, we're okay. I just gotta keep the amount of stupid decisions I make to a minimum. But now we're at round 80, so we should be well equipped to take on the black one and just barrage it right away because I couldn't care less. Oh, and we took pretty good care of it even without the barrage. Or did it already hit? I couldn't tell. In any case, that is definitely manageable. So now comes the hard part, surviving the wave 100. And I really should be waiting until I have the Moab strike fully charged. Yeah. Ooh, quick, run through. Oh gosh, that was very close. We're okay. I should wait till it's fully charged before starting the next round. Thankfully, I can outrun all of them. It's just too bad my heart's don't come back. I've been a little early on this first Moab burst, but as long as I can carve a path this way, we should be fine. Just gotta pop this red one before he runs me over and I can outpace the blue ones, no problem. And then the same for all these ones. Just aiming up so I don't pop those blue ones early. And now we should be good. Just as soon as I carve back to the tack shooter. And I really wish I could stand on top of this thing. Someone said I could jump off of the, like, fan club heads up to the tack shooter, but I tried that. It didn't work. Some things are just not meant to be. And here's the two of these ones. Okay, then. Thankfully, the barrage takes care of them, no problem. And I'm really impressed with how well these tack shooters right here can just clean these up. I bet if there was a round where there wasn't moabs and I was just standing, like, in the middle of the fire ring, I could probably be okay. I don't really want to test that though. Or maybe I can. I'll just be right over here. But these also get way too close to comfort for me. And yeah, there's, they get through a little bit. And sometimes they just straight up go around. Round 90. I don't recall what's new here. Oh yeah, those guys. I always forget which round these show up, but they are pretty manageable, I gotta say. So I feel like there's gonna be a black one on this wave. Yup, I knew it. Let's just get rid of them as best we can, or maybe get rid of the ones closest to me because those are the biggest threat right now. And depending on how this goes, I might have to send off another barrage. And actually, I really don't need to. I don't need to waste it on these blue ones anymore. Starting at the trusty, rusty, broken boat. We got some steel ones coming through, some reinforced small ones and some small black ones, which it means I can come through the middle pretty okay, as long as I bounce over here and then come back this way by my good friend, the tack shooter. And that's all taken care of. And then round 96. This is where it stopped for me one of the other times ago. And for good reason, oh my goodness. Okay, I should be safe coming over this way. Ah, don't touch me! Don't touch me! Don't touch me! Woo! That was scary. Like the curve part of it was just looming over my head. Oh my goodness. But now we have another brush we can send off right away. Oh yes, that is very good to see. Making sure all of them go by the tack shooter. This plane is having an amazing time right now. My tank friend is right over there. Kind of caught in the middle of it, but he'll be fine. He's in a tank after all. Okay, 97, let's see how this goes. Just gonna launch that right away to the big reinforced one. There it is. And then make sure that they all get equal treatment from the tack shooter. 
for the very loud damaging sounds, but I am liking how this is turning out. Round 98 has a lot of these, just gonna send that off right away, and also prematurely running over here to outpace all of these ones, and then hopefully I can outpace all of these, yep. That's working very nicely. This one's trying to cut me off, but you can't do it. You can't do it. I'm too fast. It's like I'm a hedgehog instead of a monkey. But now the barrage is ready again. And it didn't target the big red ones, surprisingly, just the small blue ones. Or maybe it prioritizes the reinforced ones over the non-reinforced ones. I don't know. I'm just making laps around this island. And I love seeing the attack shooter do its thing. I know I've said it like 16 times already, but it just, it doesn't care. Okay. In my mind, this is the last, like, dangerous round of this match because, like, round 100 is gonna be the big purple one, which, cool, there's one of those. This could get intense. So let's just set this off right now, and those are already blown up. Okay, that's good. And then taking care of all these. Some reinforced small black ones is fine. I'll just outpace them. And is that it? Is that, is that really it? All right then, in that case, we should be good to just win this then. I kind of forgot this is what round 99 was like. It has been a few times since I've seen one. And wow, all those got popped instantly. Cool, that means we just hit this button one more time, wait for the barrage to come back. And there it is, the big one. Whatever it's called, the BAD, Big Aerial Doom Ship or something like that. And it can take a lot of hits for sure. Time to send in a barrage. And then the, oh, it had some of these in there too. I didn't realize that. But then there's the red ones, and then there's more red ones, and then there's blue ones, and even more blue ones, and there's trees in my way. And that is it. We did it. Just goes to show that the sniper is still the best unit in the game. Thank you for watching, and sub to intern. I'd also like to thank the channel members, including Bread, Corby Farm, Dakota C, Calvin K, Mr. Cripple One, Master Roshi, Ancient Elixir One, Destructo Man, Bladed Archer, Cowboy, Donamoto, Deviant X, Muffin Suffer, Lucas S, LEB, and Splatter Sacks.